joined by Eddie Hearn in Cardiff. What a moment uh, in all your years in boxing, where would you position the, the joy you've just experienced there? I think, you know, in terms of uh, explosive finishes, drama, that was right up there. You know, we've seen some incredible fights this year. You know, Lee Wood against Michael Condon, Taylor Serrano, Boatsy Richards the other week. But that was in terms of explosive moments, moments that will go viral, moments that will set you up as a superstar of the sport. That was right up there. And, uh, you know, you can sometimes, you know, fiddle your way to a world title, you can just squeeze your way to a world title, you can go out and announce yourself on the world like that as a, as a massive player in the division and in boxing. And that's what Joe Caldina did tonight. Everyone in the build-up in boxing have been talking about the power in that right hand of Kenichi Ogawa, not mm. necessarily Joe Caldina. Did you truly believe you could win I the fight in that I called it yesterday. Fashion? I called it, you know, with the media. I said, I just, in the last 48 hours, I just started thinking about the fight and I just fancied Joe to win by knockout because... I think he's got sneaky power. You know, he's, he's a very sharp puncher and he's a clever puncher. And Agawa likes to lunge in, he likes to be aggressive. And what you saw tonight was timing. You know, timing from Joe Caldina, who, you know, I saw box 10 years ago at York Hall in the Tri-Nations, you know, and I just said, this kid's special. But sometimes you never get the opportunity to do that. And, you know, we want to thank the zone, quite frankly, for putting up the money to bring Kenichi Agawa to Cardiff so Joe Caldina could get his dream shot. And it's changed his life tonight. And, uh, you know, as, as a young fighter that we took on from the GB squad, you know, it's always extra special and very happy, of course, for Tony Sims, who's put so much into Joe Caldina. And Joe, you know, sacrificed a lot, you know, coming up every camp from Cardiff, missing his family up to Brentwood and, you know, has done that his whole career. And tonight makes it all worth it, you know, makes it all uh, worthwhile. And I'm you know, really pleased for him and Tony and Charlie because they, they really deserve it. He mentioned Shakur Stevenson a little moment ago and he mentioned the Cardiff City Stadium. Any, mm. any hope in that for John? You know, I rate Shakur Stevenson as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. But when you produce performances like that, when you win a world title like that, you have to talk about those fights. Because I don't see anybody else in the division right now who I would give a better chance than Joe Caldina to beat Shakur Stevenson, who is a fantastic fighter. You know, we've got Rakimov, who's a mandatory we've got to take care of. You've got Zelfa Barrett's a big domestic fight as well. But ultimately, Joe's aim now will be to unify and become undisputed. You know, whether that's at Cardiff, more likely the Millennium Stadium. I think Shakur Stevenson's already tweeted saying, you know, he'd, he'd happily come to the UK. But you're talking about, you know, Shakur Stevenson, a pound for pound great fighter. But you're also talking about Joe Caldina as one of the, the top world champions now in boxing. So a massive night for him. You know, like I said, you can win a world title or you can just explode on the world scene like that. And that's what Joe did tonight. And I can't wait for the future. And Joe Calzaghi just said to Joe Caldina, it's a new dawn for Welsh boxing. Mm. How inspiring is this oh, for the, you the need next it Because Welsh boxing, you know, without a flagship without a star, without an ambassador, is nothing. You know, I mean, there was an amazing atmosphere in there tonight, but that fight should have really been 10 times bigger. But because of the lack of boxing in Wales for so long, because they haven't had a figurehead, even when Lee Selby had a world championship, he wasn't really boxing here regularly. Now you've got a chance with a young man, good looking guy, great ambassador, good role model, who can actually take boxing forward in Wales, build it from the grassroots up. There's plenty of young talent as well, but we have to come back. And Joe has suffered, really, with inactivity through hand injuries and other misfortunes. Now you've got to stay active, have a nice break with the family, but then come back in September. You know, he had two rounds tonight, but a long camp. But you've got to keep the momentum going, and, and it should be back here in Wales. And like you say, one man who might have a bit to say about Shakur Stevenson, Rakmov as well, is Selfa Barrett. Good performance mm. from him tonight, and he's right in the frame. Yeah, good performance. You know, he, he boxed a very tricky Corbinov and won nearly every round. Um, he'll be looking, of course, at a shot at Joe Caldina. That's a big domestic fight, but Joe Caldina holds the aces now. You know, he's the champion. He'll call the shots outside of that Rakimov mandatory, of course. But, you know, I think that Zelfa is in a position now where whether he defends his European title or goes for the world title, good performance. I just want to see with Zelfa sometimes believing himself a little bit more. He's got great power. He's got a great engine. You know, and I, I like to see him walk fighters down a little bit more and, and showcase that power. But he's getting better all the time. I think 26 amateur fights and, you know, a big win. European title is a very prestigious title. Big night in Sheffield coming up for Dalton? Yeah, D Dalton was great. You know, I really rate Dalton already as one of the best at 140, not just in Britain and Europe, but in the world. And, you know, we want to see him headline in Sheffield. He's a young fighter that we've got big things planned for and hopefully his hands are OK and we can do that show in early August. And elsewhere on the card, uh, a great opportunity for all the Welsh talent coming through. Gamal Yafai returning to winning ways and Sky Nicholson squeezing in another fight. Yeah, I think maybe one fight too many for Sky. You know, she's been in camp for about six months now, but 
Um, another good win against a very good fighter and a big step up, a former world champion, won every round. She'll have a rest now and I think championship fight for her next. I thought Gamal Yafai was really good. You know, I thought to come back after that spell and do that in that kind of style, exciting. Again, this is what I'm talking about, Joe's knockout, exciting. Makes people want to tune in again. It makes people want to buy tickets. And, and you know, Gamal Yafai is an exciting fighter to watch. Great stuff from the young Welsh talent as well. And they'll be on the journey now. And, and I said before, every Welsh fighter should be crossing their fingers for Joe Caldina because it means that there's a future for them as well. Just elsewhere uh, in the sport, big night in the uh, lightweight division, Devin Haney, George Cambosis. How do you see this one going? Uh, I think Devin Haney's going to win the fight by stoppage. You know, I, I think, again, I know when I said Joe Caldina will win this fight by stoppage, that was a sort of a, a bit of an off-the-cuff prediction, which not a lot of people went for. And I don't think many will go for a Haney stoppage, but I see that tonight in Australia. And just for us, obviously we're off to Mexico and San Antonio, a little bit of a break in the UK. What can you tell us about when we can have some dates announced? Well, July 9, we're planning a very big show at the O2. We're hoping to announce that on Monday. Um, of course, like you said, Guadalajara next Friday, tremendous card, and then the World Championship quadruple header June 25th in San Antonio. So a couple of uh, international shows now. We'll also be in Australia to announce our first show over there and a little press conference for the Unified World Heavyweight Championship coming up as well. So busy times and a uh, tremendous night here in Cardiff. Eddie, we can't wait. Thanks for your time. Cheers.